Finally back in my own apartment, feeling good. All right, let's start this. Only for the night. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, my new song, Only For The Night, is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and everything else. So make sure you buy, stream, and download today because you just might get a shout out like this. Shout out to clearly underscore absent. But if you didn't get a shout out this time, don't worry. Keep tagging me in screenshots of you streaming. Keep tagging me in videos, everything, because I'm seeing it all. And also, I'm doing this new thing where I shout out new followers on Instagram. So hello, if you see yourself, hey, love you. Thanks for following. Welcome to the Instagram fam. Ooh. But anyways, now that that self promo is out of the way, it is Wednesday. Usually I do different things on Wednesdays, but since I miss Monday, we gotta go back to episode because I'm just dying to know what happened. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Episode three, the bookshelf. Uh oh, what's behind the bookshelf? The secret door? Probably. As the hours were continuing, everyone was beginning to feel more and more mentally drained. I for one was getting more and more tired by the second. And Storm's previous revelation wasn't helping at all. 2-12. What's going on? Literally at this point, I'm just very confused. Me too. I know we're supposed to be playing the game, but I just don't understand it. Well, you did say that the objective was to figure it out ourselves. I'm starting to regret saying that. Me too. Shoot. What does she want? I knew I smelled trash over here. I wasn't sure of what it was, but I should have known it was you two. Ooh, I wanna tell her off so bad, but I'ma save, I'ma save my coins for something else. I'll let her have this one. Good one, G. Can't wait to hear another insult tomorrow. You're being disrespectful. Me? I'm being disrespectful? I think she's being disrespectful. Storm, tell her that she isn't allowed to be disrespectful to me. Yes, yeah, Storm, tell her that I can't be disrespectful to her. Do what you have to do to back her up because you're the boyfriend after all. Oh, the tea. Oh, the tea. Clever. What was that about? Nothing that you need to worry your pretty little head about. Tea. Oh, I, see, I didn't even need to use my coins. I still got her. What was that about? Honestly, I just can't stand Storm. Why? Because he's an asshat and just so conceited. I hate that. But he is pretty smart. <laughs> Hey, you remember when you said that we needed to start looking in the right places? Yeah, why? What do you think would be considered a right place? Well, it has to be somewhere in this house. We can't exactly leave. Exactly. What are you getting at here, Alex? I wanna know what would be considered a right place. What? I'll be right back. Where? She got an idea and I'm coming with her. Where are you going? <laughs> we about to find out. 2.23. Good, I found you. Why are you always rolling his eyes? Oh, don't look so excited to see me. I'm not, you couldn't tell? Look, I know you don't particularly like me. Not even in the slightest. And I don't like you either. But you seem to be the only other person here really figuring things out. So I was thinking that if we work together instead of against each other, we might actually have a chance at escaping. Me work with you? <laughs> not a chance. Ew! He's really not letting up. But he could be a really big help in getting us out of here. I bet I could convince him if I say the right thing. <laughs> and of course they gonna make me pay. You know, I gotta convince him though. Boom. You have a brother, right? I think I heard that somewhere. Don't you want the best chance of seeing him again? You and me working together could get us all out before eight o'clock. I am pretty intelligent. And you're moderately okay. Ah! Oh! Fine, you won me over. Good. So, what's your plan? about that. I don't have one, which is why I came to you. You came to me with nothing except a moderately clever way to convince me to help you? Pretty much. Well then, let's think. The person obviously has an OCD of some sort. Good call on that earlier, by the way. How did you know? My younger brother has OCD and ADHD. You know, the works. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a big deal. Anyways. This means that they've planned everything that's happening today. So think, what has happened so far that's been unplanned? Us working together is unplanned, that's for sure. Don't flatter yourself. I'm merely trying to not die in here. 
Kaya's arrival at this party was unplanned for them. Because didn't they only expect it to be the eight of us? Bingo! Kaya showed up. That threw them off track. Then they got sloppy. So they took the time that we were all passed out to take her. But that had to be planned. Us passing out had to be a part of their plan. Otherwise, they wouldn't have offered us drinks from their fridge. Everything in this house obviously happens for a reason. So what you're saying is that we have to do something unplanned. Exactly. How do we do that? We don't even know what's to come next. But we do. How so? The note said we're looking in all of the wrong places. What would be considered a right place though? The living room where all of us meet at every hour? The room where we all ended up when we first got here? The secret elevator? The right place. The right place. The right place. The right place. What? What place? What we know? The right place. We need to be looking in all of the places where notes have been left. Where should we go? The bedroom, the entertainment room, the living room. Let's go to, let's go to the living room first. 234. There was a note in here. Jay found this one over there by the door. Okay, look at us being smart. This note seems to belong in the wrong category. What? Nope. Where do you want to go now? Um, the bedroom, let's go. 2.34. So, who found a note in here? Luna said that she and Jay did over there in the corner. Still looking in the wrong places, I see. Wow, nope. Where to now? The only one left, the entertainment room, let's go. 2.34, why is it still 2.34? <laughs> what happened in here? Ash found the first note in here, over by the bar. We should have checked here first, oops. It's a riddle. My spine is stiff, my body is pale, I'm always ready to tell a tale. Huh. So, we found a riddle. What do we do when we find the answer? Shout it out, raise our hand. That's so weird. A couple of hours ago after I woke up, I remember seeing a keypad. I thought it was hallucinating and that it was unimportant, but I guess not. Where was it? I think it was by the bookshelf upstairs. Uh-oh, the bookshelf. Lead the way. The bookshelf, y'all. 239. All right, we got the note. We found the keypad. Now we're just missing one important thing. What's that? The answer to the riddle. Oh, right. Riddle. My spine is stiff. My body is pale. I'm always ready to tell a tale. Um, I don't know. Clues, one word, four letter. How am I supposed to know this? My body is stiff and I'm pale. I'm always ready to tell a tale. I don't know, a clock. I mean, but clocks don't really tell tales. They tell time. I'm going with a clock. C-L-O-C-O. -O. It's four letters, that won't work. Um, a door, D-O-O-R. A door? I'm going with door. Access denied, oh snap. Really? You don't know it? Really? The great Sherlock Holmes? Do we have time for your cockiness? Let me rebel for a bit. Storm! It's book. Oh, <laughs> we did it. He did it. I didn't do nothing. So, what happens next? Well, if this were a movie, our main character would assess the situation and realize that something looks out of the ordinary. Okay, the book. The book on the bookshelf. This whole situation is out of the ordinary. And the main character, being me, of course, I beg to differ, would notice that all of the books on the shelf except the ones on the bottom right are disorganized. And knowing our captor and how much they just love organization, there's no way these would be disorganized without them wanting it this way. Wow, he's smart, but I don't like him. I still don't like him. I say we take one of the books off that shelf. Let's do it. Which one? Alex. Holy. 243. Have any of you guys seen Alex? No, wasn't she with you last? But if she went missing, I wouldn't be complaining. Ew! No, she left me earlier. Too bad. How about we start talking about someone more important? I can't find Storm. Well, my boyfriend is in the bathroom. Well, sorry we don't all keep our men on a leash, Luna. Oh, hurtful. Truthful. Dang! Anyways. It's been like 40 minutes since she left and I'm starting to get worried. I'm sure she's just off being a detective. 
Yeah, remember in ninth grade, she finished the whole Sherlock series during her classes and at lunch? Or in middle school when she actually believed she was Nancy Drew? <laughs> I'm sure that if anyone is gonna get us out of here, it's gonna be her. Aw, what do you mean you're not going in there? What do you mean, what do I mean I'm not going in there? I thought I was pretty clear. Have you seen where we're standing? Yes, have you seen the time? 2.49. We only have so many hours left before we have to suffer the consequences. And we won't get out of here by standing outside of what could be our biggest lead yet. You are right. Storm, come on. It's not just you we're talking about. Gigi, Kaya. Right? That's the tea. Fine, let's go. Yay! Man, you give in easy. <laughs> hey, I do. Let's go. Let's go. 251. Yo, we both scared. I don't blame them. What the hell? Looks like a hallway of some sort. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, smart guy. Start walking. Gladly. Oh, we don't like each other at all. <laughs> what? Scared. What? No, but it's only right to allow a lady to go first. Oh, so after you. Are you serious? No, you go on right ahead. Me, you go on right ahead. No, no, you go on right ahead. Are you sure you don't wanna? Positive. <laughs> go ahead, you the man. All right, here we go. <laughs> 256. I'm so scared. Wait, stop. What? Before we keep going down the hall, let's go through one of these doors. You're right, they could have Kai in one of these rooms. Doubt it, that would be too easy. So which one do you wanna go in? Door one, door two, or door three? I'ma go with door two. The second door. I'm scared, y'all. What if we find a saw room or something? You know, from the movie Saw? 259. Oh, shoot. Nah, we gotta get about. What the? No idea. Looks like some kind of garage. Whoa, what's that? What's what? Uh-uh, she brave. I would not be walking up to nothing in this room. Couldn't be me. What is it? Sis. What the, what ha, oh my God. We have to get the others. What happened? Oh my God, I had one mission. Get back to the others ASAP. Well, but in my hurry, I realized one thing. I couldn't remember my way around this place. Only that we had gone through some secret doors. Wait, Alex, where are you going? I can hear Storm calling for me, but I couldn't think straight. All I could think was getting to the others. I'm scared. Did we find our way? Alex, where the hell do you think you're going? To get the others. Then why the hell did you come in here? Huh? What are you talking about? Does this look like the way we came? No. We came through that mystery door, so I went back through it. That wasn't the same door. How do you know? I'm telling you, we took a wrong turn. Why didn't you stop me? <laughs> well, he was yelling my name. You were running too damn fast for me to keep up. Are you sure you weren't lost too? Ooh, look at her. Whatever, at least I'm man enough to admit when I get lost. I was following you. How was I supposed to know you didn't know where you were going? Okay, stop. No time for this. Let's just get out of here. And which way do you suggest we go? Back the way we came, duh. Wow, great thinking there, Sherlock. Dang, we getting in arguments back and forth. What the? Alex, oh my God, it's a phone, a landline. Storm, do you know what this means? Our host is living in the 20th century. <laughs> if it has a dial tone, we can call the cops. Uh, Didn't they say not to do that? Storm, you know what that note said about calling the police. And you know what we just saw? If it has a dial tone, I'm calling 911. What do we see? Storm, no! Storm, just wait. Let's think about this. Think? You do realize we are being held captive by a psycho who has kidnapped your friend's sister and now we have a chance to call the cops and you're telling me to wait? Something was fishy. I just couldn't put my finger on it. Think, think, think. I just have a bad feeling about this. You have a bad feeling? Not good enough. Whew, I thought you were smarter than that. I am. Something's off, I just don't know. Oh my God, Storm. What? That wrong turn, it's not my fault. Not that again. I don't care about that anymore. Listen to me, when we went through that hidden door earlier, did we or did we not close it behind us? 
How should I remember? Well, I do. I'm pretty sure we closed it. Okay. And the door I took the wrong turn on was open. I went through it only because I thought it was our door. But I don't remember seeing any doors, let alone an open door when we found the garage. True, I'm smart. Storm, it's a trap. Excuse me? The host knows what we just saw. He put it there for us to see. So he knew we'd be in a hurry to leave. He was probably hoping we'd be in too much of a hurry to think clearly. So yes, I took a wrong turn. But I think it's because the host wanted us to come in here to lay a trap for us. What are you on about? That phone is a trap. If you call the police, I'm telling you something bad will happen. Alex, listen to me. We are smart people. Smart people call the cops. You ain't lying. <laughs> no, you listen to me. Has a phone just so happened to conveniently appear anywhere else in this house tonight? Why here? Why now? And don't you think we would have noticed an additional door earlier on if it was open? True. Listen, I understand your concern, but I'm calling the police. Wow. It could be our only chance. And we about to die because of you. Storm, we can't. You read the note. Call the police and something bad will happen if you make that call. I have to stop Storm and, and we will. Sorry, Alex, I have to do it. We ain't about to die. Not on my watch. Stop. Huh? You have to trust me on this one. Please. Uh-oh. Trust me. Have I been wrong yet this evening? Fine, you call. Finally. Now, if I know our host, surprise my enthusiastic one, did you really think I'd let you call the cops? I was right. Of course not. Why do you think I wanted to make the call? I knew it wasn't the cops. I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> well, well, aren't you the clever one? I try. Well, you have me. What did you want to talk about? Why us? Clearly you had specific invitations in mind. For nothing is secret that shall be not made known. What does that, what does that mean? Huh? It's your next clue. What are you talking about? Exactly. I suggest you start talking, really talking to your fellow party members. You'll be amazed by how much lies beneath the most golden of surfaces. Wait, what are you? Well, goodbye. He hung up. What did he say? Something about secrets? Oop, download my song, Secret. Golden surfaces? Talking to each other? Well, you asked him why us. Maybe that's a clue. He picked people who have secrets that need sharing. This sounds like Saul. Are we finna die? So what's your secret? Maybe some of us are just here to learn the truth. Maybe. Who else do you think has a secret? He said something about lies beneath golden surfaces. Me? Golden. Golden boy. Could he be talking about Ash? Nice job, by the way. There's no way Ash has a secret, right? Nice job on the phone call, by the way. I had no idea it could be a trap, but you were ready for him. Well done, I'm impressed. Thanks. You're not as bad as I may have thought, Sherlock. Right back at you, Watson. Ready to go get the others? Let's do it. Yo, we almost died. But first, what are your thoughts on keeping the phone call with the host a secret? You wanna keep secrets from people? Only because the host suggested other people have secrets. If we tell them we talked to the host, they'll wanna know what about. Good thinking. All right, it'll be our secret. Our little secret. Sorry, I had to. 302. Anyone seen Alex yet? Nope. No. Wait, so no one has seen her yet at all? I'm still not complaining. Nobody asked you. Storm is still missing too, by the way. Maybe they're together. If he did anything to hurt her, I swear. Easy, Tiger. He wouldn't. If anything, she may have done something to him. Well, hopefully they're safe. That's all that matters. Maybe they're just lost. Well, has anyone found anything today? No, and I looked everywhere. Yeah, it's almost like the notes just vanished. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for that. Let's hope so. Late much? You'll never believe what we've been through. Okay, so earlier, I thought I told you already that I don't like flashbacks. <laughs> I'll explain it. Very long story short, we found a bookcase that opened up and led to a secret hallway. There were a couple doors. Then there were some rooms. Then we went through the doors. And you won't believe what we saw. Come on. Uh-oh, what we see? I'm scared, y'all. Come on, hurry. 311. As we were running through the halls, what? I just kept asking myself. Something I knew I shouldn't have been asking. But I just couldn't help it. What if we don't make it out of here? Oh, snap, don't say that. But then, that's when we saw it. 
What did we see? Is someone dead? <gasps> oh my goodness. What? What? Time is running out. This cannot be happening. Oh my gosh. Is that a picture of Kaya tied up? What are we supposed to do? I did not sign up for this. Do you think any of us did? Well, if Genius over here had followed directions and not brought an extra guest, are you coming at me again? Guys, stop. Oh. Oh. Alex and I are showing you this because we need to devise a plan and not fall apart again. And what plan is that exactly? Would you like to do the honors, Alex? Sure. We learned something about the host. They have a serious weakness. They do not respond well to things that are unplanned. Probably because they have OCD. And think about it. They invited eight people here tonight. They always leave exactly eight notes lying around. Those notes are always addressed to eight people. Kaya made nine people. They didn't plan that and they're upset. Or maybe they assume more than eight would show up because people. And their plan was to use that against us. Interesting point. Back to the point, Alex. The point is that they are in control so long as what happens is planned. We have to do something unplanned. Do you think that will help us find Kaya? Or will it just waste time? The host said time is running out. Yes, but listen. Listen, we've spent plenty of time looking for Kaya only to end up back here. So far, they're winning. And if we keep playing their game by their rules, they'll continue winning. If we want any hope of winning, we have to get ahead of them by doing something they haven't accounted for. Kai, don't ever think that finding Kaya isn't my main goal. We brought her here. We are responsible for her. I know that. How do we do what they aren't expecting? What's the most obvious thing about the people who are here tonight? Some are cool and some aren't. Girl! Not everyone gets along. Wrong. The host invited four girls and four boys. It seems he has assumed who is dating who. Uh-oh, we about to switch dates? But what if we mix it up? What if we do something unplanned? What if we both played a game of spin the bottle to completely baffle his assumptions? What the? Hear me out. We keep playing by the host rules. Let's make some of our own. Time to introduce a little chaos. I guess we have to. Boom. Sounds fun to me. I'm willing to give it a go. Whatever may help, right? Right. Shall we head back to the main room? I guess this is what we doing today. Fine. Storm, could you swing by the kitchen and grab a bottle of ketchup or whatever you find along the way? Sure, but if you never see me again, not funny. Okay, okay, I'll grab a bottle. I guess we really about to do this. So, based on who was invited here tonight, it seems the host has paired us off according to his own assumptions. Assumptions, or is he just observant? Creepy. Anyways, the point being, what he isn't expecting is for us to mix up the couples. Hence, spin the bottle. Anyone wanna go first? Nobody? Perhaps you ought to do the honors, Alex? After all, it was your idea. Storms too. Are you two secretly wanting to make out or something? No! I'll go first. Well, well, looks like Storm kisses Alex. Oh, oh, it's just a game, dude. Better be. All in the name of finding Kaya. Okay, can you two just kiss and get it over already? Oh, oh. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting Storm's kiss to be so good. It was hard not to get caught up in the moment. And I could tell that he was pretty pleasantly surprised by the kiss too. Okay. I think you've made your point to the host. <laughs> she jealous. Ooh. It was hard to not feel a bit dizzy after Storm's kiss. Oh, I revealed a tender, passionate side to him that I hadn't expected. Next, can we just move on, please? Oh, she mad. Mad mad, super mad. Alex, that means it's your turn to spin the bottle. All right. Oh boy. I got Ash, I got Ash. Okay, play it cool. Ooh. Look at her cheering, that's my best friend. Ready when you are. Look at us. As our eyes met, I wanted to know what he was thinking. And yet, in his gaze, I could feel his thoughts. He had as much anticipation as I did. <gasps> Look. Ah! As his lips brushed onto mine, my heart began to pound so hard I worried the entire room would hear. But then I became so caught up in the kiss, I no longer cared. I'm kissing Ash. I'm kissing Ash. I'm kissing Ash and it's amazing. Uh, how long are these spin the bottle kisses supposed to last? Ash lingered for one more moment. I didn't want to stop. I could tell he didn't want to either. Look at that. 
Just wanna be sure we really upset the host. Right, right. <laughs> sure, that's exactly what you were going for there. Your turn, Ash. Lucky me, I get to kiss Ash. I suppose if I must kiss you, ex-boyfriend, then I'm happy to remind you of what you're missing out on. Oh, what's this kiss gonna be like? Is she gonna try to make me jealous? All right, let's see it. Oh, it was so quick. What, that was hardly your turn now, Gigi. <gasps> Whatever. I guess I'm kissing Gigi. Don't worry, babe, it's just a game. No big deal to me, of course. Of course. She said, ooh. <laughs> well, well, would you look at that? Dang. Is y'all done? That kiss seems a bit involved, if you ask me. Does she like her? Sh should I be jealous? Calm down, I'm just a natural. You know this. Yeah, babe, it's just a game. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine? Yeah. You don't care that I just made out with my best friend? Am I supposed to be upset? Unbelievable. I shouldn't be surprised, especially after earlier tonight. Is something wrong? Yes, you. Ooh, what was that all about? I have no idea. Um, what just happened? What is happening? Excuse me. Should I, what's going on? Looks like we did it. We officially upset our host. And we have another clue. We know where the host has to be. Where? The circuit breaker. Oh, you are right. Well, duh, I was about to say that. Let's go. We don't know where it is. Either way, we know the host is in the house with us. Scary, huh? He's scared. Don't worry, Kai, we're gonna beat this. How can you be sure? I wanted to tell Kai I was sure because, well, I was sure. But even I had to admit, I had no idea what we should do next. Oop. Well, y'all, that was crazy. First of all, I kissed two guys. Oh, that's not the point. Anyways, we are one step closer to finding Kaya. Maybe. But if you enjoyed this video and want more tea, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. You better share it. That's your homework tonight. And don't forget to buy, stream, and download my song only for the night. I'll show you some love if you show me some love too. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step. I'm not sorry, baby. I'm